just in. All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, Love & Hip Hop New York is returning on Monday, December 16th, and you will be excited to know that some of the original couples are on, like Chrissy and Jim Jones, okay? Now, it's been a long time since the two of them have been together, since they got engaged and they still haven't gotten married. I know they both hate when everybody asks about that, but here is a clip from what's going to happen on the new season. I just know I'll be putting you through a lot. I've always been the man in my family, so all I know how to do is try to support and try to make money, and I don't want you to think that I'm selfish in any way. I love you more than I can love anything in this world. And I've been here with you for a lot of it. And yes, you put me through a lot, but at some point it has to stop. So where would you want to get married at? What are you talking about right now? Where would I want to get married at? We haven't even, like, you where? just skipped, like, 12 steps. But have you really talked about the steps that it's going to take for us to do better? How about, are you sure you want to get married? Not once did you make me feel like it was solidified that you got your head on straight. Is I there like somebody to... out there that you think you would need to be married to? See, Where it doesn't did seem that like come me. from? It don't feel like it's me because I don't understand what the you are. Yo. Oh, my God. If you could only take yourself outside of this situation and look at it. Woo, that's intense. So Jim, Jim is back on Love and Hip Hop? Mm-hmm. Jim must be bored. Why would you say that? I mean, they were the originators. That's be, that was originally supposed to be their show, remember? Yeah, I know. That was supposed to be following Jim's life and Jim's and Chrissy's life. But Jim got so much going on. With that was the, Jim's with the gym. idea, actually. Yeah, yeah his idea That's what I'm saying. It was originally mm -hmm. them. So, you know. Oh, they must have paid Jim a uh, Yeah, I'm sure the bag was crazy for Jim and Chrissy. Hell and they might yeah. have something else mm -hmm. about to happen. So maybe they're like, we'll do this. Because Jim's still working on music. Off. He's still producing and executive producing people's albums. He got the Jim thing, so... He must have cut Jim a, 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 a huge I'm sure the bag was crazy for mm -hmm. both of them. But that comes back on Monday, December 16th. But And, you know, she has previously said that maybe marriage just isn't for them. And that's not everybody's path. We've had a lot of people come up here lately and, and say that, too. Who else was on it? You said it was a couple of couples that came back. Um, well... Mm, I, you know what? I don't know all the couples that are coming back, but I know that they're saying that this is exciting because some of the uh, original people. So I don't know everybody who's coming back. Who did you hear? What's the rumor? Chrissy Tell and us. Jim Jones. Oh. I just told you. I did see the promo for it, but yeah. I just the crazy part is I only remember Jim and, Jim and Chrissy, Chrissy from yeah. the promo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now the 50 worst decisions in music history. Rolling Stone did this whole list. Um, what are some things that you could say made the list, if you had to guess? Uh, worst I have decisions. no idea. I would have to say... The Super Bowl is on the list at number 44 with Justin Timberlake. Ripped off uh, Janet Jackson's top, but she's the one who got the backlash from it. Mm -hmm. What I got to do with music, though? Mm -hmm. It's music history, so it's in the history of music. They were performing a mm. song. All right, also... Um, What's that label? Is is it, didn't the label pass on Drake? One of the labels passed on Drake? I'm sure that, that was probably up there somewhere. They have Ja Rule investing in the Fire Festival. Oh, that ain't music. That's just a bad investment, yeah. though. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, huh? They're talking about horrible business moves, artistic blunders, deeply questionable moral judgments. So from music, th by musical artists. Yeah. Oh, okay. The way that it's worded sounds like it's just it's about, music, like, music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they also have on this list Prince changing his name to an unpronounceable glyph. I didn't have that a problem with that. No, that wasn't yeah, a problem. I thought that was a good thing. He it was his masters and stuff back. I thought that was His protesting, um, unfair, and slave-like conditions in the music business. He was the sign, whatever that's the, the sign. Even if, It's also amazing about that Super Bowl performance. That wouldn't even be a thing now. If that happened right now in no. 2022, nobody would even think about it. Uh, Kanye West, they said, kicks off his total a-hole era by interrupting Taylor Swift at the VMAs, and they said that was the kickoff for that era for him. Number one on the list was the Rolling Stones hiring the Hells Angels as security guards for their rock festival in 1969. I think I did see a documentary on that. I don't remember And how that bad one. that was. Right. Why was that bad for them? Hells Angels as your security at a rock concert? I mean, I don't know anything about it. That's what I'm asking. It just caused all kinds of mayhem and... Um, they are actually the ones that were swinging on people and th doing things like that. Who, the Hells Angels? Yeah. Were they swinging on people as protection or just to do it? I mean, probably both. Now, you know, it got a little ro uh, rowdy. Just fill me in. The dude that ran for mayor against Eric Adams, he was part of the Hells Angels, was he? Or was he not? I can't remember. That's the Hells Angels? You're talking about Curtis know. Sliwa? Wasn't he? Uh, yeah. I don't think they were the Hells Angels. They're not... They they're not the Hells Angels. <laughs> Hells Angels is a bike club, aren't they? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm asking. That's what I don't know. They were the ones that um, go know. and like protect people in the community. 
right? I don't think that was the Hell's Angels. It, it wasn't, wasn't the Hell's Angels. <laughs> Gar- they were the Guardian Angels. Guardian, Guardian Angels. <laughs> Don't act like y'all didn't have to look that up. I, I did. I just exactly. looked it up. I, I, mean, I, mean, I, just, I knew it wasn't the Hell's <laughs> Angels. I couldn't remember I what know. it was. But I remembered his name, but I just couldn't remember the um, what he was part of. God had made the man a Guardian Angel a Hell's Angel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Megan Thee Stallion earned $13 million in 2022, and she's the first black woman to cover Forbes 30 Under 30. Drop a bar for her, that's dope. Yes, congratulations. Mm -hmm. She said, I can't slow down right now. I'll take a break when I'm dead. I'm trying to really build something. When I start sitting, I feel like I'm not doing enough or I'm giving somebody else the opportunity to pass me. She said, it's really hard to be the first something in 2022. I want to be bigger than just my music. I want people to know Megan is everything that she ever wanted to be. Megan, the artist. I feel I've always liked to dabble and dab in a lot of different things, and I feel like I got that from my mom and my dad. Salute to Megan, but uh, I don't like that language of, uh, you know, you'll take a break when you're dead. Take a break or you're going to die. All right, you need rest. You need rest. All right, don't ever let don't 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 let that mentality. That's a that's a disgusting death mentality that we pushed around in this culture. Sleep when you die. Take a break when you're dead. No, you are gonna need your rest. Yeah, cause, but you know what people feel like when they do leave, when they do take a break, when they do take a, a vacation, somebody slide into the spot, and it's a this this industry now is kind of like what have you done for me lately? And they feel like if they're gone for a month, people will forget them. Yeah, you can have my spot, but can I get my peace of mind? You know what I'm saying? I, I, you, you, you take the spot. I'll, I'll take peace of mind over that spot any day. Because, you know, nobody can take a spot from you that, that God has already prepared for you. So you'll be fine. Take All a break. Get your rest. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. All right. Charlamagne, who are you giving that donka to? You know, uh, I need Balenciaga to come to the front of the congregation. We like to have a word with him, please. All right. We'll yes. get to that next.